This is 22 because of this. Yeah, if you want to hear the story about this, I will put a video link in description down below. I'm going to do a target practice with this guy. And let's see. This one is the best. So I normally don't do open box video, but in this particular case, I thought this is useful for some people. So I'm doing it. Not exactly a true open box, but by Rack HW45, Bronze Star. I just purchased this from Air Guns of Arizona. German made for the American market. Big warning sign, instruction paper, and this thank you note is from AOA, Air Guns of Arizona. They did test shots so that they are not going to ship defective products. It may take some extra time compared to buying something from Amazon, but it's worth a little bit of wait. Usually it's only like a couple of days. Yeah, it's worth waiting for a little bit. And I like basically purchasing from people like AOA, Air Guns of Arizona, rather than buying from Amazon. This packaging is simpler than the Beeman P1 that I bought off of eBay. You know, it's a nice box. I'm going to keep it. And here is the thing, so the bronze star, this is more like kind of between olive drab and uh, desert tan. It's not that really yellow. And one thing I didn't know, and I think nobody on the YouTube has ever shown or explained, but about this grip, if you are thinking So here is my Beeman P1. This is a G10 grip scale from DZ grip. And these things you can fit real 1911s grip scale, which is a really nice thing. However, with this one, no. Let me just show you. This was a little bit of a surprise. I still like this gun and I'm going to keep it, but... This is what looks like if you remove the grip. I am not complaining or anything. Like I said, I like this one. I'm going to keep both of them. But yeah, if this is something that matters to you, you probably better get a black star or rather Black one is your only option. The bronze star is Cerakoted. The black one is anodized. So if you play outdoor or leave it in the sun for a long time, and if you live in the desert of Arizona, for example, over the years, this may get purple. 
you know, that's what、uh, black anodized aluminum does, typically on、uh, motorcycle parts. So, anyway, and minor difference the rear side, this one is more of yellow, that, this one's green. I am not a big fan of target style grip, to be honest. On 1911 style format, anyway. But it is what it is. So, unless someone starts making a different grip, I guess I have to live with this one. So, other than the grip, there is nothing really I should talk about. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to tell you. My P1, the black one, is 177. This is 22. Partly because getting exactly the same one internally just for different color doesn't make any sense. And partly because of this. Yeah, if you want to hear the story about this,、um, I will put a video link in the description down below. So I'm going to do a target practice. With this guy, and let's see what kind of result I can get. As for the storage, of course, you can use hard case or any soft case that says fits full size 1911, would fit. Maybe not every single soft case, but for the brand name ones, I'm sure they will. A little bit tight because of the grip, but you can close the zipper completely. This one is for You know, being California compliance. Let me quickly show you the difference. This is not legal in California for transporting the real one. Okay, it doesn't matter for these guys, but you have to have a place to place padlock. And this one is actually the same company, Allen. And this is slightly bigger. This may be. A better option for HW forty five. Maybe not. This is actually no. Okay, this one is actually tighter than this one. So, if you are going to get these things for transport, I would recommend this one. Not only this one looks nicer, but you know. It fits nicely. Not too tight and not loose at all. And it protects your HW45 nicely. Mini tip when you put these things into soft case or hard case, I have seen a lot of people putting things in the wrong way. Don't do this. Okay? Because what are these things? And if you place your gun in the case like this, you are most likely to place it like this. No, you want to protect your sight. So, this is the right way. 
the same story when you are placing into hard case. This is the right orientation. A lot of people do the opposite because they think when they open the case like this, this looks like upside down, right? But this is the correct way. And all stars. Uh, sorry for those people who watched my video I made about a year ago and subscribed and I never made any airgun content since then. So these three are the options for HW45 and Beam and P1. They all work. This one is the best. This is designed for Desert Eagle. And this is a uh, universal. It is a little bit tight when you get uh, brand new. You have to break it in using a uh, ziplock bag. If you don't know how to break in the leather holster with ziplock, um, and if you want to see that video, let me know in the comment section below. And this is, I really don't recommend it. It's cheap and, uh, you know, it's okay, but I am not, first of all, I'm not a fan of this type of holster. This is more like toy for the toy. Let's see how they work. to move this one so I'm not going to bother with some strap. I don't like this type what rather this particular one. This is one of the biggest reasons. Every time you draw the front side gets snagged so you have to twist and draw. This one is really nice, except for the fact that this actually gets in the way. When you reach, you have to do this. Other than that, uh, this is really nice. It can go right hand side, left hand side, even inside the waistband. And this one. Well, I guess that's it for this video um, because where I live, I really can't make a video about firing this one. So I have to go to my motorcycle garage. So let me know if you want to see more video about this. Well, I am going to make a video anyway, you know. I don't care if people watch or don't. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.